everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to Stronghold Showcase Episode 2, where I take a look at the strongholds you send in to me, because of course, there's so many amazing strongholds out there for people to see, and well, I want to see them, and you guys have sent me quite a lot of strongholds to be honest with you, if you've sent me your stronghold, Chances are I will take a look at it, so if you've not received a reply or anything, it's not because I don't want to see your stronghold, it's because I haven't got to you yet. Uh, there's a couple of strongholds people have sent to me that I probably won't see though, um, but most likely chances are I just haven't got to you yet because of course I'm only doing like two strongholds per episode. So I should really respond to you saying I will look at your stronghold at a later, later date. Um, but this season, because of course I want to do it at seasons, I want to do it like... Um, each season be about 10 episodes, so I'll show about 20 strongholds in this series up to episode 10, take a break until like the summer, and then do a season 2, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. That's sort of like my plan for Stronghold Showcase. So there we go. So the first stronghold that we have is actually on the Red Eclipse. Now last week, you might have remembered that I explored Alexia's Yavin 4 stronghold. Well, it turns out, Alexia has one on the Red Eclipse as well. Who they gave me a key for when I saw their stronghold last week. Uh, Kimiko's Marketplace this time, Marketplace Cantina this time. Kimiko, I love how you got the apostrophes like you did with your Alexia name as well. You got them, in the, got them on your this name as well. How about that? How about that? So, we are in the Coruscant stronghold. And as you can see, I'm on Stranda. Hello, Stranda. Uh, and we are going to take a look at what this stronghold looks like. I should probably have the UI off, to be honest with you, so I can see it a lot better. There's no reason I need to have the UI on. So, without further ado, let's take a look at this Coruscant stronghold. Which I believe, according to the key which I was given, uh, has 121,000 prestige and 100% completed. Wow! What have you done with the stronghold? Considering, you got to think to yourself as well, this person has strongholds on two servers. Because I think the last time I was on a progenitor, and now I'm on the Red Eclipse, so... Yeah, that's that's really dedicated. That is real dedication to this game, I will say. Right, anyway, here we go. Okay, so, we've got the droids here. The lovely, lovely droids here to greet us. Uh, oh, you just play some Datacrons. Oh, that's, that's a nice touch, having the Datacrons by the doors. It's just some... Just, just just, sort of lights up the room, in a way, and of course the GTN. Now this, this GTN is just perfectly placed here, I think. Oh, and the, oh, okay. Greedy huts overlooking the GTN sales, mm, of course they would. Oh, you, you, all your utilities here. you got the GTN, the banks, the mailbox, the uh, uh, material droids, uh, and I was going to say, where are you? Yep, there you are. Where's the Jawas? The Jawas aren't here. Um, I'd say maybe the Jawas should be here, but then I'm thinking it might be a bit too overcrowded. Maybe if you put the Jawas uh, where these three people are instead, so that, that way you've got all the vendors in this one room. So, there we go. Uh, that is... I can't remember what that's called. That's the... Is that the... 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 Corellia tram line? I think it is. Oh, you've got a jukebox as well, and you've got the appearance modifier as well. Let's see if we've got any music playing. And watch it only last five seconds before it fades out. Oh, it's not fading out. Oh. I thought Jukebox has faded out after about five seconds. Or was that just a bug when I got the Jukebox in my pack video? It might have just been a bug, but there we go. And you got some uh, orbs as well. Degree orbs. Hooray. Right. Hello. Oh, we've got some turrets as well guarding your room. Blimey, you've got all sorts of personnel standing around. You've got the bomb as well. What would I do if I actually take the bomb? Would it do anything? I don't think it does anything. Oh, can't see target. You can. That's a lie. Stop lying to me, game. You can see the target. Stop lying. Okay. Oh, my goodness me. That is very well placed. Well done. That is very well placed. Uh, right, we'll go in this room next. Aha! Ah, so this is where the droids ended up. It's sort of like a... a prop... Mm, I'd say a throne room, because you've got the throne here, but I'm not really sure, because you've got prison... Hmm, sort of, because you could have whoever sat here, and then their most prized prisoner here on show, and then maybe like a 
second in command sat here, surrounded by all your treasures. Yes, but then the Jawas, I don't really know. Maybe the Jawas are like bodyguards or something like that. And of course you just got tribes people. I don't know, I don't understand what the tribes people would be here for. Uh, and yet yeah, some more tribey sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty much, it, it's kind of just like a throne room with your prized possessions, to be honest with you. Yes. Right, uh, we'll move on to the next room, which contains... Oh my goodness me. How do you get this? Is this uh, one of the season PvP rewards? Most likely you've got some mine traps as well, the computer stations as well, and some little droids to serve you drinks as you walk in. Aww. Life day is over! Get rid of the tree! Get rid of the tree! Uh-oh. Some eggs. I think... Oh, were these killer eggs? I brought this up in the last week's episode. I don't know if these were killer eggs or not. Uh, or are these the killer eggs? And these are something else. I don't really know. Uh, can I go inside the hut? No. Oh, if this hut was real, I'd be able to go inside it. That sounds wrong, but it's true. We move on to... Oh, you got the... Okay, because that is definitely not unnerving to see. I love that the music is still going on in the background. Seriously, I guess my jukeboxes just must be bugged then. Hmm. Uh, right, I really love the statue. I really love the way these statues are placed as well. That is, that's absolutely perfect. Seriously, perfect. This is turning out to be a lot better than your uh, stronghold from last week, Alexia. Seriously. Oh my. Okay. Uh, ha <laughs> hum. This is kind of interesting. I can imagine I'm just sat here, just playing maybe Pazak or whatever casino game this is, and it's just, you know, the ladies are all distracting. Or in my case, the men are so distracting. But for Strander's case, most likely the ladies, because Strander is straight. Uh, although I've never really placed a story for Strander. You know, I've not really given him a love interest. I don't want it to be Nadia. Um, but who knows who his love interest will be in the future. Uh, got the... Outposts, which you normally place outside the field outposts, I believe this is called. Lovely, lovely. The hut ball! Oh, that is very nice. Nicely placed. Just in the middle of the room, just minding its own business. And you can also, obviously, take the hut ball as well. Thank you! I think it's a bomb, isn't it? Uh oh. I just gave myself the hut ball. And it's a bomb. It's going to explode on me any time now. Uh, got some of the. Irreg irregularities, I can't remember what it's called, the, 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 hypergate, yeah, hypergate irregularities, that's what it is. Bloody hell! That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> that just scared, <laughs> literally jumped in real life. Um, some crystals as well, are these crystals that you can gather materials from? You can, don't mind if I do, as Homer Simpson would say, don't mind if I do. Uh, does that mean I now have the debuff after 15 seconds? Most likely, knowing my luck. I know you can do this a few times without getting the debuff, but no, my luck, I will get the debuff right away as I have. Ooh, Rusan crystals! That's a thing which um, um, C2N2 requires for the for people in thingy. Yeah, I know who I'm on about. Yeah, you guys know what I'm about. Hello, Ebon Hawk! Hello! I need to place an Ebon Hawk in my stronghold as well. Uh, what else have we got? We have uh, some of the signs as well. Oh, blimey, you've, you've really gone sign heavy with this place, haven't you? Hello, Ricarta! Hello! Uh, and the... I can't remember what kind of torch this is. Blimey, you really have gone sign heavy. Oh, sign... Um, maniac. What, what, what's the word I was trying to say? Sign heavy, that's what I was trying to say. Anyway, moving on. I just walked right through that door before it even opened. Uh, Datacron staircases. Ooh, very nice. Very nice indeed. You really have must have that many... Datacrons to waste on your staircases, and I believe you've done the same for the other side as well. You have indeed, although I don't really see. I, I see. Are these dark side? No. You've got dark side and light side ones, so you don't really go with a pattern for the uh, Datacrons anyway. Uh, on that side, you had Jace Malcolm. This side, you have HK51515. Whatever. Uh oh. Game's frozen. There we go. Uh, oh my. Okay, what have you done with this place? You, uh, everyone always loves their uh, Ricarta mine traps. Are these Ricarta mine traps? I know they're mine traps, but I don't think they're Ricarta. But everyone seems to go heavy on those. I have no idea why. Hello, Satil. Hello. Uh, this is definitely a Republic heavy uh, stronghold for sure. Um, bit 
bit overcrowded in here, I think. Yeah, a bit. I don't know. I feel like all this artillery is a little bit unnecessary. Um, but hey, it's just my opinion. The TARDIS! It's not really the TARDIS, but you know. Hello, Jace! Just gonna say hello to you properly. Hello. Uh, right. Uh, you got the em. Ooh, you got the Emperor here in a Republic stronghold. Okay. Uh, ah, some lovely plant life as well. Uh, and the armor stand as well. Going through here, we have. Ooh. Ooh. This is quite nice. Can I sit on the. Can I sit. Oh, I can't sit on it. Oh, no. Well, I can. I can sit on the edge. If I were to. If I put myself on walk. Slightly move over. And then. And then. Chair. I'm sat in the wrong place, mind you, but technically I'm still sat on the mount when you think about it. So there we go. I wasn't here, okay? Destruction was already here when I arrived, okay? Just 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 letting you guys know. Uh the planets are very nicely placed as well. They're they're almost they are practically perfect. Are they are they in line? Are they in line? Oh no, this isn't in line. Oh anybody with O C D right now is going mad. Need to put those in line. Put those in line, please. These two look like they're parallel with each other. Um, yes. Again, I believe the Kotfi War destroyed the stronghold. Uh, oh, of course I'm still in war, can't I? Oh, nice plant life as well. You like your plant life. Uh, this room we have... Theron Uh Have we got a statue per room, then? So that's Theron. I imagine you're going to have another statue in another room. You oh you don't oh this is like a visit oh this is a nice room this is like a guest's room oh this is absolutely lovely I love this to bits oh isn't it cute oh it's nice ah oh. ah oh, it's just ah oh. you better hope that you don't roll you know somebody sleeping there and somebody sleeping there and they don't help roll over to me in the middle better hope not and finally this room which is sort of a hut guest room oh my god what Wow, I want that! Where'd you get that from? That's amazing! I want that. I want it so much. Where do you get it from? Somebody tell me. And this, blimey, what? I know where you get this from, but... Where, where, do you, where do you get these other three... Where do you get these other three decorations from? I've never seen them before. Where are people getting these decorations that I've never seen from before? I've been, I'm a decoration... I'd say I, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a hoarder, but I'm a collector. I try. I'm a collector of mounts, I'm a collector of pets, and I try to get as many decorations as I possibly can. Apart from the PVP ones, which are kind of like gone now. You can't get the PVP ones anymore. At, at least I think so. Unless there's, didn't they say they were going to make like a vendor so you can get previous PVP rewards? I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, and finally, 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 we have the outside terrace. Uh, some generators as well with a boop de -de boop de doop thingy uh, some more crystals as well you got crystal heavy with this place as well you got crystals here crystals in your room as well uh, nice that you've gone in parallel with each other and finally freedom nad Ooh, these buildings look out of place for some reason I don't know why were they always there in this stronghold I guess they were hello freedom nad you okay yeah you right? Yeah? He looks... I don't know what it is. He looks perfect standing there. Well, there we go. He looks absolutely perfect standing there, I think. So, that was Alexia, or also known as Kimiko's stronghold on the... Well, the constant stronghold. And you can visit it by visiting the Red Eclipse server. Uh, and it will be titled as Kimiko's Marketplace Cantina, I believe... They've set it as Republic. I don't know if they have or not, but hey, if it's Republic, go visit it. If they haven't, I guess it's their right. So there we go. That was Kimiko's and Alexia's Marketplace Cantina for Coruscant. And on to the next one. And welcome to Stronghold number two, which also happens to be a Coruscant one. This time we are on the Harbinger for It's Dan, the Man's Galactic Stronghold. Let us take a look right now. So... You have 
I even made like a little reception area. I did this with my stronghold as well, with all my strongholds, all my drum and cast and my Coruscant one. But it's nice to have that. That's that's a that's a way better chair than the one I've got set up in my stronghold for sure. Uh, Al, you got this little person, this this woman as well. Aha! Uh -huh. Did you just shoo me away? You bitch! I will have your head. You will no longer have my services. Goodbye. No, anyway, uh, yeah, you've really made this like a nice little welcoming area, which is quite nice. Probably could do with a change of, a, of the rug, perhaps. Maybe have something a little bit nicer. I mean, I, I guess it blends in with the environment, but I don't know. Just, you know, just seems too classic, I think, to be honest with you. Um, just so you know, I don't know if I established this uh, in episode one, but if I'm going to be critical, critical then I will be critical, because I want to be critical if I want to be uh, you know don't take it personally if I am ever critical when I take a look at your stronghold people but just if I'm critical I will be uh, now we want everyone's got these planets everyone's made a good use of these planets haven't they they certainly have hello Republic soldiers and we move into everyone seems to have this either as a bedroom or throne room That's, oh hello hello handsome and you too hello uh, don't know what you're doing you're just who are you? Uh, Vera Dens. Okay. You're just staring at a chest. Okay. Uh, is that, is that, that's a Keldor Jedi Master, isn't it? Yes. And you chose out Robert and just some meditating Jedi. You really made this. Oh, so is this, is this a throne room or is this a meditating room? It sort of works well as a meditating room, I guess. Although, mm, I don't know if Darth Maul works here because this is a Republic base. Don't know if Darth Maul would work here, um, or Zalek for that matter, but <laughs> if you want to have them, they can. I mean, it is a meditating room, I guess, so hmm, maybe they can meditate too. Next up we have, I guess this is just your artillery room. Yes, you seem to have uh, just all your missiles and your armor and weapons and this awesome walk amount that I wish I could sort of walk around in, but is, is that the Empire one which you get? Uh, you can only ride if your guild controls a planet? I'm not entirely sure. I know there's a few walkabouts that don't. And you also have the galaxy map as well! Lovely! Sorry, excuse me, I didn't mean to push right through you. I'm sorry. Uh, in this room we have... Da -da 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 -da. Everyone has this as a garage. Everyone has this as a garage. So speak, thinking about it, I don't think I actually looked at the garage in the last stronghold I looked at. Hmm. Maybe I'll come back to that quickly at the very end. Yes. Uh, yeah, everyone seems to have this as a, as a garage. It's also like a little scrapyard as well. You've got the shelving as well. Just to be all like, this is my junkyard, your scrapyard, my vehicle scrapyard. It's quite nice. And who's overseeing it? It is. Yoon is overseeing it. And Scorpio as well, as they should. Two perfectly perfect, perfectly perfect, yeah, ah, perfectly perfect uh, beings to look over the scrapyard. Although, Rankers in a scrapyard? Ah, I guess it makes sense. So, what have you done with your stairs? Uh, Datacrons and the trophies as well. I believe you've done that with the other side as well. You have indeed. It looks very neat. Looks very neat and tidy. Not many people do anything with this side of the stairs, though. I must be the only one that feels the need to. Hmm. Oh, you've done the same thing as what the last person did. You put HK on this side. So what have you done to the other side? Have you also put Jace Malcolm on the other side? Let's go find out. And on this side, we also... <laughs> ha! Ha! You've done the exact same thing as the last person. Jace Malcolm on this side as well. How about that? And you've also got <laughs> you've also got Satil Shan in this room. Oh my, you've done the exact same thing. And you've also got the carbonated people on the walls. How lovely. Ooh, a bar! Why is nobody starving at this bar? I want a drink now. Oh, that's nice. That's nicely placed. Just a nice little chill area as well. And some tables for me to just sit around and enjoy a drink with my friends. Yes. Uh, we've also got the... Alliance flags as well, and uh, just a bunch of posters, which are quite nice. And we move on to the back rooms. 
Uh, right, I wonder what this sort of room is, uh, what this is. I guess this is just, uh, no. Don't know what it would be. Maintenance room, perhaps? Yeah, because you've got a droid there. Wait, what droid is this? Oh, medical droid, okay. Uh, C2N2, T7, and you've got Lala Benico as well. Yeah, I think this is sort of like a maintenance room. Seems like that. Uh, I've also got Theron Shan there as well. Uh, this is oh, clearly a med bay. You know, you got one, two. Loken! Hello, Loken! Uh, yeah, you got two Republic medics and Loken as well. And Talos as well. Makes perfect sense, sort of ish. Not really, but hey. Uh, and whatever the hell. Ooh, that's nice. Where'd you get that from? Again. People are getting decorations, I have no idea where you get them from. And some Koto tanks as well, oh that makes perfect sense. In this room we have a sleeping quarters. I assume this is your bedroom? Where have you gone? I assume this is your bedroom. I assume so, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, ooh, the jetpack thing. The jetpack mount which you can just put on a stand if you own the mount. That's lovely, lovely, and a bunch of your trophies as well. Some there, and some there. Oh, have you defeated Revan? You've defeated Revan. Congratulations. And the last side we have... I guess just another scrap room. Aww. Two droids are just packed away. Aww. I still think they should just make like a noise every... No. Week or so. Like... Nah, 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 save me. You know, just uh, make you feel bad for them. Yeah, this is just... I, I feel like you've not really done much with this room. It's just like a... Just a scrap room. I guess, just a phew sort of room. And finally, we have the outside terrace, so let's go take a look at that. Ooh, it's sort of like a, uh, just a nice little bar terrace. Oh, hello, we have Nico Carr. Um, I, 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 I forgot your name. Why have I forgotten your name? Why do I always forget their names? Oh, no. It's, uh, um, um, it's, um, it's, is it? It's not Corso, is it? It's Koth! My god, why did I forget your name? I'm sorry, I forget their names. When I haven't played the story in about two months now, which it has been pretty much two months, three months now since I played Kotfi, I forget the names. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's just like a nice, nice little bar terrace, which is nice. Oh, oh, can I have a drink now? Hello? Can I please have a drink? Yes? What do you mean I'm underage? And a nice little, ah, nice little gardeny terrace as well with this statue, which I don't know. I just never found the appeal of this statue, but it 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 makes this terrace look nice. It really does. And of course, is that meant to be a bin? I think that's meant to be some sort of bin. Hmm. And a bench as well. Ooh, that's a nice bench. And ah, oh, ah, oh, now wouldn't that be perfect? You could just sit there and look at the edge of the world. So imagine, I'll, I'll imagine it, right? Yeah. I'll imagine it. You're sat here and you're just looking at the edge of the world. Oh, isn't that perfect? Isn't that absolutely perfect? And of course you could do the same for the other side as well, I imagine. Yes, you can. I'm going to do it right now. Uh, uh, there we go. Practically perfect in every way. So that was it's Dan the Man's Stronghold on the Harbinger server, so you can go and take a look at it. It should be in the public listing. If it's not, oh well. Uh, but you can take a look at his stronghold on the Harbinger server. So go take a look at it. It's a lovely stronghold. It's very nice and neat. It's a ne it is definitely a neat stronghold, to be honest with you. It's a, I would say it's a classic stronghold. Just, you know, a very simple, not, over, no, not overdone, just, just simple. It's simple enough to just look nice. I'd say. So thank you very much for inviting me to see your stronghold. Oh wait, go back to the stronghold. We did see this. Okay. Well, there we are. So there's this room again in, uh, I forgot your name. <laughs> That's bad of me. In, uh, Kimiko's stronghold. So there's this room again. So anyway, that was episode two of Stronghold Showcase. Thank you to both of you for letting me see your stronghold. They were lovely to see. Both chorus and strongholds, they are very nice to see. And remember, if you want to submit your stronghold, for me to possibly see in a future episode then click the annotation on the screen or the link is in the description on how to send your stronghold if you've already sent me your stronghold don't you don't feel the need to send me it again because no doubt I'll probably get to you at a later date um, but I'll let you know if I'm going to see your stronghold or not anyway so just look out for your email in your inbox so there we go so thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen and I We'll see you next time.
and a farewell to you.